Hello and welcome to the platform of quality education. In today's lecture, I'll be talking about the English word pairs that confuse absolutely everyone. We all know English is a crazy language. In order to score in any competency test in English, like IELTS, OET, and PTE, you must be fluent in your speaking and accurate in your grammar. And in order to be fluent, you should know the proper pronunciation of English words and vocabulary which will maintain your fluency. The best way to get there, it is necessary to know the synonyms in English which will induce a variety in your speaking. So in today's lecture, we'll practice and improve English speaking and writing using variety of synonyms. So let's look at our program's agenda today, what we are going to do. Use of synonyms to make your English speaking and writing more attractive and advanced. This is our agenda and we are going to discuss today and we are going to work on it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe it right now and hit that bell icon so that you will receive the notification of my new upcoming lectures. So let's get started. So we'll talk about the synonyms. What are those alternatives that you can use to bring your writing in your language? If you keep repeating the similar words in English in your writing or in your speaking, you're not going to get good marks in any of the competency tests. So let's move on to the slide and look at the first word. The first word is amazing. It's an adjective. It means surprisingly greatly. We commonly use this word. Synonyms for amazing are incredible, fabulous, wonderful, fantastic, and extraordinary. It is difficult to remember all these synonyms, but we can use and put it in our practice if we know their meaning and use. So here I'm going to give you an example of each so that you will remember. I'll walk you through all of them and we'll see. Number one, incredible. It means beyond belief or understanding. Something you're not believing in. Some amazing thing happened that was not in your belief or in understanding. The book I read is simply incredible. This is an example. Let's look at the second one. Fabulous. What does it mean? Extremely pleasing. Let's see an example. I appreciate the fabulous endurance of marathon runner. I appreciate the fabulous endurance of marathon runner. Wonderful. Extraordinarily good. Let's go to the sentence. I'm so fortunate to have such a wonderful family. This is also a commonly used synonym instead of amazing. Fantastic is the fourth one you can use instead of amazing in what situation of the highest quality. You found something with a good quality. You can use the word fantastic. It can be a product or service. He has a fantastic idea to start this project by spending less amount. He has a fantastic idea to start this project by spending less amount. Let's look at the last example. Extraordinary. This is also a commonly used synonym of amazing. Beyond what is ordinary or usual. If it's more than that, so you're going to use extraordinary. Our team possesses an extraordinary capacity for work. Second word that we use commonly in our speaking or writing is big. It's an adjective that something is large in size or quantity. But you cannot keep repeating the word big, big in your sentence in your speaking. So you will use some alternate words to make purification in your speaking or writing. So what are the synonyms for big? You can use commonly huge. You can use enormous. You can use substantial so these are the three commonly used synonyms for big and you can also use giant for the size let's look at the first one huge great in size degree or scope there is huge demand for higher education these days there is huge demand for higher education these days number two enormous this one also is used commonly extraordinarily large in size or extent of power you can see in each meaning there is a small difference there is an additional thing so that you can follow you know in that place their company's income has reached an enormous figure you'll say figure if american english if you want to say it in british english you will say figure the last word is substantial this word is less likely used but you can still see it in the paragraph fairly large not exactly large but fairly large you know you just estimated something the substantial amount of measures have been taken to control the spread of virus across the globe. The substantial amount of measures have been taken to control the spread of virus across the globe. Let's look at the third one that is definite. It's an adjective and also used commonly in speaking and writing. What does it mean? Precise, explicit and clearly defined. 
so these are the three meaning if you get something like that obviously you can replace this definite with different synonyms what are those number one certain positive or you can use obvious these are three commonly used synonyms instead of definite let's look at the first one and see the example certain definite but not specified or identified you just have an idea certain members have not paid their dues yet they're not sure how many people but you just have an idea that there are certain or people or particular number the bunch of people second is positive you can use this word positive characterized by or displaying if or certainty take an example from the sentence there are reviews or comments about our publication were all positive the reviews or comments about our publication were all positive the last one is obvious easily perceived by the sense or grasped by the mind you can see and understand you can see and get it or you can just assume that it can happen the error was very obvious and detected in no time you saw someone doing something and you found that is doing the thing wrong so you you catch immediately you say that this is very obvious you are going you're going to make this mistake so don't do this in this way so you can use the word obvious the fourth word is explain it is a verb we use it commonly but you can replace it with other synonyms to maintain your fluency make something easy and comprehensible the synonyms are elaborate interpret look at the first one elaborate add details or develop more when you are describing something you add some details or develop more by giving some examples and facts he elaborated on the main ideas in his dissertation what is the meaning of dissertation it's a word like there is a kind of statement or treatise you have a research and there are new point of views or some new requirements for study or degree so you're going to use this word dissertation interpret you can use you can replace it with explain in your speaking make sense of or assign a meaning to how do you interpret his behavior in this particular situation so if that's a situation you're going to use word interpret the last one interesting it's an adjective it means arousing or holding the attention of someone around you the synonyms are fascinating engaging and intriguing let's look individually on each synonym fascinating means capturing the interest or attention of others the snake charmer fascinates the cobra next word is engaging what does it mean attracting delighting or keeping in activity all team members were engaged in the activity during workshop all team members were engaged in the activity during workshop let's look at the last one intriguing you can also use this word arousing interest challenging or curious here something comes like challenging so if that is a situation you can replace it with this during the activity our team came up with some most intriguing finds so that's the end of lecture today i hope you will get something out of it please hit like if it helps share it with your friends and comment in the comment section below you may follow me on twitter facebook and instagram links are there at the right and left corner of the screen you may click and proceed to the next lecture or may pick it from the description below i'll keep uploading the videos related to the same topic and some advanced practice guide so make sure you have subscribed the channel and click the bell icon so that you will not miss all those i'll see you in the next lecture thanks for watching and bye for now